Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're here to talk about the new Pixel update for March, which is going to be the March feature drop, which is coming to the US on March 11th. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we get with the new feature drop. Okay, everyone. Uh, so we've got the uh, Pixel March uh, feature drop coming to the U.S. March 11th. Uh, the other regions have already received it. Uh, this feature drop will support Pixels 5a, Pixel 6 series, Pixel 7 series, Pixel tablet, the Pixel Fold, and the Pixel 8 series. With this, we get some new updates. We get some app uh, general improvements for stability and performance. We get some fixes for the Assistant. Uh, they specifically fix for Assistant not responding to verbal commands in certain conditions. There are some biometrics, so general improvements for fingerprint recognition and response in certain conditions. Uh, we have some Bluetooth fixes, so there's a fix for audio quality uh, with connected Bluetooth devices under certain circumstances, and then also a fix for issue causing Bluetooth to stop functioning under certain conditions. Uh, there is a fix for the camera, uh, for an issue causing the camera to stop functioning in certain conditions. There's a few fixes for display and graphics, which is a fix for brightness changes in photo and video under certain conditions. Fix for issue can... Um, causing display to turn green in certain conditions. And then there's some general improvements to display stability and performance. Uh, there are some updates to the framework. Uh, media is getting an update um, fix for issue in playing video on Google TV under certain conditions. There's a couple fixes for sensors. Uh, so we have fix for issue causing vibrations on new text to stop working in certain conditions. And then also a fix for issue occasionally causing vibrations on new text to stop working in certain conditions. Uh, there are some other Others listed, so telephony, uh, there are some fixes there, and routing calls, uh, occasionally occurring when Wi-Fi icon shows during an ongoing call after Wi-Fi is disabled, uh, fix for issue, unable to make or receive calls occasionally in certain conditions. Uh, issue with mobile data not switching correctly in certain conditions and fix for issue with voice distortion when making calls. There are some UI interface changes that we'll be looking at. Uh, there is some Wi-Fi uh, improvements, general improvements for Wi-Fi connection stability and performance in certain conditions. So a lot of this is kind of generic. Everything says um, certain conditions, which you can take a look at this on the Google website. Um, so if you go to support.google.com, uh, these are all listed under the Pixel update for March 2024. Okay, so for those of you that are not... Uh, used to the updates on your pixel it's very easy uh, once the once the update is available you'll swipe down from the top we'll scroll all the way down until we get oops we'll scroll all the way down till we get to the um gear icon here for settings then we'll scroll down until we get to system we'll select system and then system update and it will usually tell you your system is up to date you always want to click the button down here to check for an update uh, so right now this shows this has android security update of february 5th 2024 and it's on android version 14 so we'll go ahead and click on that and then that will go out and look for the update so once the update's available it should tell you and then it will give you the option to download and install the update. With this feature update, we're hoping to um, see some additional changes in um, our Pixel, specifically my Pixel 8 Pro. Um, I've had the issue with the, the video, camera. Please make sure uh, where it to give us a like. Um, Consider subscribing to our video, channel. So I'm hoping to see the a bell fix notification. there. Uh, so biometric updated when new videos are uploaded. Uh, anything to appreciate you watching. And we'll catch you in the next one. Um, is always a plus in my opinion. Uh, so how many of you are um, using a Pixel phone and are looking forward to the March update? Let me know in the comments below. I'd like to hear from you. Okay, with the new feature drop uh, not only are the pixel phones getting updates but the uh, pixel watch is getting some updates uh, specifically the pixel watch one or the original pixel is going to be gaining uh, three new training and workout modes that are only exclusive to the pixel 2 which i have here uh, it's also going to include pace training heart zone training and the ability to start and stop certain workouts automatically uh, 
on the Pixel Watch and the Pixel Watch 2, uh, Google's also going to be adding the Fitbit Relax app. Um, and what this will do is it includes uh, the lack of breathing and mindfulness app, um, which was a an omission um, to a lot of the Fitbit fans. Uh, so that's supposed to be coming to the watch as well. It also is going to add some what they're calling more bonus for the Wear OS 3 smartwatches. So Google announced uh, at Mobile World Congress 2024, along with support for passes from Google Wallet on your phone, uh, such as the event tickets and boarding passes and loyalty card. Uh, the new wallet passes are mentioned in the feature drop, at least not right now. So we'll see if there's going to be some new updates to that. The Pixel tablet, for those of you that have a Pixel tablet or a Pixel Fold, or even the older Pixel 5a, going to be app screen sharing to be supported on all Pixel devices. So you'll be able to share screen between the device, uh, say your phone and your Pixel tablet, same with the Pixel Fold. So those are some cool new additions. Those same devices are also going to get um, improved Google Fast Pair experience. So this will let you quickly add any Bluetooth devices you previously used on your Google account. This will also be coming to uh, the supported Pixel devices. So we'll be taking a look for that. Checking to see if there's any updates to the Buds, uh, but I don't see anything listed right now. So definitely excited for this update. So we we will be back on March 11th uh, to go through all of the updates on the Pixel Watch 2 and the Pixel 8 Pro. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those videos. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.